how could you hold the Olympics in a country that is doing this if you are human? Yeah. We all know, <clears throat> you know, how hard um, athletes work and train. And we're not comparing this to the Germany games of 1936, because in 1936, the world really didn't know what was going on. And there was maybe one concentration camp. I don't know exactly. Um, we're comparing this to Germany in 1942. I don't know. I, I just think, I mean, seriously, how, how could we? What, what do the Olympics stand for? What are they about? You know, do you want to hold a sports event? Do you want to... Uh, you want to, I mean, if the Olympics are about anything, then how could we hold them in Beijing in 2022? That's all I want to say. Dirty thing happening. Dr. Yeah. Zenz, did you want to comment on this question? Is boycotting the 22 Olympics an effective <laughs> strategy or not? I would rephrase the question. I think it's sometimes very good to look at a, a measure in terms of its effectiveness. How would you define effectiveness? Effectiveness in getting weakest released from camps? Uh, no. I would rephrase the question as follows. I would ask, how could you hold the Olympics in a country that is doing this, if you are human? Yeah. We all know, <clears throat> you know how hard um, athletes work and train. And we're not comparing this to the Germany games of 1936, because in 1936, the world really didn't know what was going on, and there was maybe one concentration camp, I don't know exactly. Um, we're comparing this to Germany in 1942. I don't know, I, I just think, I mean, seriously, how, how could we? What, what do the Olympics stand for? What are they about? You know, do you want to hold a sports event? Do you want to, uh, do you want to, I mean, if the Olympics are about anything, then how could we hold them in Beijing in 2022? That's all I want to say. Thank you so much. Um, I feel that it would put people at further risk, but the risk is already immeasurably high.